Is SpaceX aiming to win the space race with the groundbreaking evolution of its spacecraft? The evolution of SpaceX's Starship is a tale of ambitious vision, cutting-edge technology, and relentless determination. Over the years, SpaceX has made significant progress in developing the Starship, overcoming numerous challenges and setbacks to refine its design and capabilities. SpaceX's Starship is being built to take humans to Mars. When complete, it will be the tallest and most powerful launch vehicle vehicle ever built. Join us as we discover more about Elon Musk and SpaceX's insane evolution of the Starship. SpaceX Starship is a fully reusable spacecraft designed for interplanetary exploration, satellite launches, and eventually human spaceflight. The Starship is composed of two parts, a reusable rocket booster called Super Heavy and a spacecraft called Starship. The first stage of the Super Heavy booster would be capable of lifting 220,000 pounds to low Earth orbit. Considering this higher lift capacity, SpaceX's Starship is expected to launch more payloads and reduce the overall launch frequency compared to Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. It all began in 2012 when Elon Musk openly talked about his audacious intention to build a reusable rocket system with substantially greater capabilities than the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. At the meeting, Musk unveiled what he called the Interplanetary Transport System for Mars Colonization. The ITS consists of a fully reusable spacecraft with two wings and a booster that would be about 400 feet high when assembled. Its first stage would have 42 sophisticated Raptor engines, and the booster would be 40 feet wide. The spacecraft would have nine Raptors as well, so they sprang into action. In 2013, SpaceX began developing a prototype rocket called Grasshopper, which was designed to test the reusable rocket technology that would eventually be used in the Starship. Over the next few years, the company continued to refine its design and testing, culminating in the first successful landing of a reusable rocket in 2015. In 2016, SpaceX announced its intention to use the Starship for a mission to Mars as early as 2022. In the following year of 2017, Musk came up with a new design and a new name, different from the initial information, calling it the Big Falcon Rocket. The update led to an adjustment in the size of the system System, which is now 348 feet tall and 30 feet wide. Musk tweaked the design several times within the first few years of embarking on the project, rolling out different specifications till he settled on a design in 2018. Towards the last quarter of 2018, Musk unveiled yet another design, a sleek stainless steel spacecraft with three tail fins that would be 387 feet, a little taller than its predecessor. The launch system with the new name Starship would have its spacecraft powered by six Raptor engines with up to 37 Raptors powering the booster, which henceforth goes by the name the Super Heavy Booster. Though Musk stated that the number of engines on Super Heavy could vary from flight to flight, the rocket has room for up to 37 Raptors and each mission will require at least 24. He also explained that the switch from a lightweight carbon fiber composite material to stainless steel was a major decision considering many factors. Stainless steel is an economical choice for spacecraft construction, and its strength increases as the temperature drops, making it an ideal material for voyages into the frigid expanse of space. It also has a higher melting point, making it more resilient and steady during the fire re-entry through Earth's atmosphere. This latest design has remained unchanged to date. With the design nailed down, SpaceX began to move at a fast pace. In 2019, SpaceX began tests on Starship in Boca Chica, Texas with a small low-altitude prototype called Starhopper. The three-legged stainless steel craft powered by a single Raptor rocket engine did a series of static hops and test firings before making that one big hop on August 27, 2019. During that big hop, Starhopper lifted off from a space SpaceX pad to a height of about 492 feet and then drifted sideways to land at a different landing pad a short distance away. The entire flight took about one minute. After the incident, SpaceX retired the vehicle and pushed ahead with its Starship project. A month later, on September 28, 2019, SpaceX unveiled the first prototype of the Starship's upper stage, the Starship Mark I. Like Starhopper, the Starship MK-1 made of stainless steel was assembled at SpaceX's Boca Chica site. 
The vehicle featured more of the revised designs of Starship, with two fins instead of three, and was built for uncrewed test flights only. SpaceX has since built several versions of the Starship prototypes, seven of which were tested between August 2020 and May 2021. The last of the seven, a full-size Starship SN15, successfully landed after reaching an altitude of over 32,800 feet. However, a full-scale orbital test flight of the rocket is expected to take place in 2023. While anticipating the next milestone, Musk never ceases to talk of his interplanetary ambitions. Well, what do you expect of a man that seems so audacious and unstoppable? Upon completion, the Starship and its super-heavy booster will be able to carry up to 100 people at a time to the moon, Mars, or other destinations in space around Earth. Musk said not only will they be completely reusable, but with a fast turnaround on each mission. The same spacecraft will also be taking the Japanese billionaire and entrepreneur Yusaku Meizawa along with some others on a trip around the moon. Though Musk did not disclose how much Meizawa paid, he publicly thanked Meizawa for his support. Musk has often said that the primary goal of SpaceX since its founding in 2002 has been to make humanity a multi-planet species. The company has developed reusable Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, as well as reusable Dragon cargo capsules and a new Crew Dragon spaceship for astronauts with launch pads in Florida, California, and now Boca Chica. Nevertheless, taking over Mars remains the main objective. Recently, SpaceX Starship announced to have completed a major milestone in preparation for the rocket's first orbital launch attempt. On January 9, 2023, SpaceX tweeted that it had completed a major test of its latest Starship prototype, Starship Prototype 24, at the company's facility near Brownsville, Texas. Starship Prototype 24, which was stacked on Super Heavy Booster Prototype 7, was fueled up at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Texas in a test known as a wet dress rehearsal. While the test does not include firing up the rocket's engines, it is common practice during the development of a new liquid-fueled vehicle to ascertain that it can be safely fueled before launch and to verify other launching prerequisites. This was the first time an integrated ship and booster would be fully loaded with more than 10 million pounds of propellant, SpaceX tweeted. With this important milestone accomplished, definitely, the first orbital launch attempt of the Starship vehicle should be around the corner, because it has never been over two years since the company conducted a Starship test flight only to be met with the news that there are still some technical and regulatory issues to settle. So, SpaceX must complete a few more procedures before Starship's next launch, which includes a test firing of all 33 engines at the base of the Super Heavy rocket booster, plus a launch license from the Federal Aviation Administration. Technically, those tests would clear the way for an orbital launch attempt, though no precise date has been set. Musk, on the other hand, has been more open and sincere in his updates. There's a good chance for late February. March launch attempt appears quite feasible, he tweeted January 7th, 2023, in response to someone citing a South Texas publication that claimed the launch was scheduled for the end of January. Meanwhile, SpaceX has missed several projections in the past for the first Starship orbital launch, including those made by Musk and others. At an event in February 2022, with a fully stacked Starship as a backdrop, Musk estimated the vehicle will be ready to fly in a couple months. A NASA official likewise stated at an advisory committee meeting held in October 2022 that Starship might be ready for launch by December of that same year after completing a wet dress rehearsal of the entire vehicle and a 33-engine static fire test of the rocket. Of course, NASA has been keeping a close eye on Starship's progress because it intends to use a version of the vehicle as a lunar lander for Artemis missions. To build those landers, SpaceX got two NASA awards worth more than $4 billion. Overall, the years between 2012 and 2017 and up until this date were a period of rapid development and innovation for the SpaceX Starship as the company worked tirelessly to realize its vision of making space travel more accessible and affordable. The evolution of SpaceX's Starship has been a remarkable journey of innovation and progress. From the initial concept of a reusable spacecraft to the current iteration of the Starship, SpaceX has pushed the boundaries of space exploration with its ambitious goals and breakthrough technology. 